Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly contest 346. Uh, it's an easy and I would say a very trivial problem. So the problem name is minimum string length after removing substrings. Okay, so you are given a string S consisting only of uppercase English characters. You can apply some operations to this string where in one operation you can remo remove any occurrence of one of the substrings. So it can be either AB or CD. Now return the minimum possible length of the resulting string that you can obtain. Note that the string concatenates after removal, after removing the substring and could produce new AB or CD substrings. Okay, uh, let's see. So the first example is A, B, F, C, A, C, D, B, right? So just see what we can remove. So we can remove either a combination of AB or CD. Okay, so this AB is removed. This CD is removed. What is the new string? You get F, C, A, B. Again, this A, B is removed. Okay. So finally, you are left out with F, C. You cannot remove now either A, B or C, D. Hence, your answer will be 2. That this is the minimum length of the string that remains. Okay. You can see F, C is remaining. Let's see this. This is A, C, B, B, D. Okay. So there is no A, B or C, D. Hence, you cannot remove even a single combination. Hence, uh, since there is no operation, you will return the length of the string and that is 5. So 5 is your answer. Now the constraints are the length of the string can go up to 100. So pretty low constraints, right? So uh, this is a very typical problem of stack, right? Why this is uh, why this uses stack is because suppose these are certain characters, okay? You can use array list, whatever you want, any data structure, which is capable of uh, you know, squeezing uh, squeezing the characters if some of the middle characters are removed. For example, if this is my string, right? Now, if I remove this character and this character, right? So any data structure which is capable of now giving you this, 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 and this. Getting it? So removing it can be used here. So stack is one of the great data structure that can be used here. Why? Because let me take this example. So the this is my stack, okay? The first character is A. I push A, okay? There is only one character. I cannot remove any combination. The second character is B. So whenever I receive either B or D, okay? Because I can remove either A, B or C, D. So whenever I either rem uh, get a B or a D, I check what is the topmost character, okay? So in, in this case, I'm getting a B, okay? Just a second. Yep. I'm getting a B. So I'll check what is the topmost character. It is A. So this B and this A forms a combination and I remove it. Okay. My stack becomes empty. Now the next character is F. So I insert F. The next character is C. Again, I insert C. Remember, I'll have to only check for B and D. Okay. The next character is A. Again, you insert A. The next character is C. Okay. You insert C. The next character is D. So just C. I have got a D. I'll check what is the topmost character that is C. Remove C. Okay. Getting it. Now the next character is B. That's the last character. So again, you have got B. Check what is the topmost character. It is A. So remove this A. Because these two form a combination. So finally, you are left with F and C, right? So that is why stack is one of the data structures. You can use array list as well. There, what will happen? If you have A, B, F, C, A, C, D, B. So what you will do? You remove this. Okay, you remove this and now just squeeze it, right? There are certain functions. So you, you remove it. I don't remember the exact function names to be very honest, but I, I have done it using array list as well. So that's why I remember. So you, you, again, this will be removed and finally you'll be left with this, right? So yeah, this is about the code. It's a simple one. I've taken, I've used a stack here. This is the stack. I've taken a map because the code looks, looks clean, right? You do not have to uh, everywhere check that, okay, if this is my current character, do this, do that, right? So just take a map that if I get a B, I have to search for A as the topmost character. If I get a D, I have to check for C as the topmost character, right? So I start traversing. I'll check what is my current character, okay? Now, if map contains my current character, that means if it is B or D, so what I'll do, if my stack is not empty and the topmost character is equals to the required character, which is A in case of B and C in case of D. Then just pop it and continue. Okay. That means go to the next character. Or else in all the other cases, what you'll do, you'll, you'll add that character to the top of your stack. Right. Finally, when everything is done, you just return the size of the stack because that is the number of characters you are left with. Right. 
so yeah that's it for this solution the time complexity for this one will be big o of n you are basically accessing any any character at most once or at most two because at every particular point of time you may be checking it right but again that is that is linear and space is again at at most it can go up to big o of n right so yeah that's it for this solution i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case of any queries mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye